to daily contest day third of october lead code challenge the problem that we have in today's minimum time to make rope colorful here in this question you are given an array of colorful balloons arranged on a rope what do you need to do you need to identify the minimum time needed to make the rope colorful and what is the constraint specified in the question as per the constraint no two consecutive balloons of same color should be together you are also given the time needed to remove each balloon present in the array and you need to identify the minimum time needed to fulfill the above constraint so i'll be talking about more from the algorithmic perspective about the question why the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it and i'll also explain this algorithm over there so let's quickly move on to it let's focus our attention on to one example i have taken a slightly longer example so that you guys get a good hold of the underlying concept here i can see balloons of five different colors the first one is of dark orange next is green next is yellow then it's light orange followed by blue the question says no two balloons of same color can be together that means here out of this lot we'll have to remove three balloons out of the total four here out of these two balloons we'll have to remove one here out of these two balloons we have to remove one and if i ask you which one are you going to remove so you will be removing that one which takes least amount of time because what do you want to do you want to identify the minimum time needed to make the entire rope colorful in nature and rope can be made colorful by removing consecutive balloons that have the same color this is the crux of the problem guys if you have understood this much then your solution is done what i'm trying to say let's try and understand it by the two pointer approach so the two pointer approach will help us identify the bucket or the consecutive balloons that have the same color so this bucket is of length 1 so i'll have my start pointer here only and also my end pointer here only since there is only one balloon uh, then that means we don't need to delete any of it let's proceed ahead the next bucket that we have will be over here the starting pointer will be over here and the ending pointer would be over here and what i'm going to do i'll be deleting all those balloons that takes least amount of time to be removed so which one is going to take the least amount of time to be removed out of these four the first one is this the next one is this followed by this one so how many balloons do we have in total we have four balloons and we will be removing these three over here and how to identify this up if i ask you then it's again really simple you iterate over the sum of all the balloons that have same color so what is the total sum of all the balloons that have same color 2 plus 5 is 7 7 plus 4 is 11 11 plus 3 is 14 so this bucket slot has the total sum of 14 and you can keep track of that balloon which has the maximum removal time which here in this case would be 5 that means you will be retaining 5 and you will be deleting the rest of the balloons so how many balloons are you deleting you are deleting 2 4 and 3 you are retaining this 5 so 14 minus 5 gives you 9 that means in order to remove all the three balloons of green slot total amount that is required is 9 is of 9 units if you want to formalize this mathematically then the equation would be sum of all the balloons that correspond to the same color as in this case is represented by 2 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 you will be iterating over this and you will be finding the total sum of for those balloons that have the same color total minus you will be subtracting that balloon that le that has the maximum removal time which in this case is 5 so total minus max and by virtue of this you have calculated the minimum time needed to remove rest of the balloons that have the same color which here in this case is 2 4 and 3 so this is the crux of the problem total minus max and let's apply it over to the next lots as well here we have two such balloons that have same color represented by yellow so start would be pointing over here end would be pointing over here and uh, here the total sum will come as 3 you will be retaining the maximum one so 3 minus 2 gives you 1 uh, so out of this one unit of time is needed so let me just write one over here let me just write 14 minus 5 is 9 and let's proceed to the next lot which is of d what is the total of 3 and 
the total of 3 and 4 is 7 so let's write 7 over here what is the max time of removal of corresponding to one balloon out of these two the max time of removal is 4 so 7 minus 4 gives you 3 that means 3 units of time is needed uh, here in order to remove all the balloons that have the same color so let's write 3 over here and the last slot has only one balloon so we are gonna skip this up so this is gone this is gone uh, what are the times that we have identified 9 1 and 3 so the total turns out here in this case as 13 and we can keep track of this by storing it in a global variable and we'll keep on adding as we proceed towards the iteration across all the balloons that we have this is in sync with our expectation this is a very typical problem of two pointers you just need to keep track of uh, the buckets and you need to identify the total sum that corresponds to each bucket and the maximum element that exists over there without further ado let's quickly walk through the coding section and I'll exactly follow the same steps as i have just talked here here i have taken few pointers start end total time and n for keeping track of the length of the input string while my start is less than n and my end is also less than n i have taken two local variables max time and group total till the time i keep on finding the same color across end and start pointers and my end is less than n what do i do i simply check which balloon will take the maximum time i add the current needed time at the endmost interval onto my group total and i keep on incrementing my end pointer as i progress ahead so this will give me the maximum time that corresponds to one particular group and group total will give me the sum of all elements that i have in that group and once I have it, I simply subtract these two up and add it to my total time. Uh, for the next iteration to happen appropriately, I update my start to end. With this, uh, once we are out of this while loop, I simply return the total time variable and let's submit this up. The time complexity of this approach is order of n. The space complexity of this approach is again order of n. Uh, no, sorry, the space complexity is not order of n. The space complexity is of constant time. And uh, with this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Your subscription truly means a lot to me. So if you want to see more of Coding Decoded videos, please guys hit that bell icon. Thank you.